Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a fun handprint fish project. Now this is really easy, and the only supplies you're going to need will be a pencil, some paper, an eraser, and then something to color with, either markers, crayons, something like that. So hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with making our handprint fishbowl, what we want to do is we're going to trace our hand. So I'm going to turn my paper like this, and I'm going to put my hand right here in the middle of my paper. Now, when I trace it, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw all the way around it. So you want to have your pencil straight up and down. I'm going to use a marker just so you can see it a little better. And I'm going to trace all the way around my hand. I don't have my fingers spread out super far, just a little bit. And I'm going to come all the way around here to about here. Next, I'm going to turn my paper like this. And all you want to do is draw a little line that's going to curve down to here. Now, right on top of here, we're going to make a little fish face. So, all you want to do is draw a nice big circle. Then I'm going to add another circle inside of here with a small one on top. Then just color this one in, and I'll color a little bit darker along the top too. Now starting here, we're just going to add a little smiley face like this. Now, right across the top, we want to make a fishbowl. So starting at the top, you want to draw a nice straight line from one side to the next. Then you're going to curl in each side for the edge of the bowl. Next, starting here, we're going to make a great big curved line that's going to come all the way around here, and then it's going to come right back up to there. Once you're done with that, make a little wavy line across the bottom for some gravel. And then you can add some little details in here. You could draw some little wavy lines that come up and down for some plants. So I might make like a little, little bit of seaweed right here. You can also draw a castle. To do this, you just want to make a little line that goes up. It's going to go over and down like a square. Then I'm going to make two rectangles on each side. I'm going to put a triangle on top, and then two more triangles on each side. Next I'm just going to make a big tall sad face for the door, and I've got a little castle. Now inside of here you can go and add some little circle shapes just to make some different little gravel in here. And then here is your basic fish bowl with your little handprint fish inside. Now you can always make this look a little bit more realistic and you can add a little curved line right here for the gills and then I can add a little line that goes up, it's going to come down and it's going to go back in like this with a few little lines for a little flipper. Now, once you're done with this, the next step is to begin coloring this. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now, when it comes to coloring this, you can use lots of different things. Markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever. I'm going to be using some markers just so I can make mine really stand out and kind of pop out. Now, you can color your fish however you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some markers on the fish, and I'm also gonna use markers on the castle, the ground, and the seaweed. The only thing I don't want you to color is the fish bowl here. We're gonna leave this white, just that way so everything pops out, because when you try to use blue, it's just gonna be really, really dark. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna use some marker and crayons to add a nice background on here.
Now, once you have your fish colored and your gravel, your castle, your plant, all your little details, then we want to work on the background. And the background can be very simple. I'm just going to go and take two different colors. So I'm going to take a purple first and I'm just going to make a nice little wavy line across the top. Next, when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make uh, leave some space. I'm going to make another little wavy line that goes to the fishbowl and that's going to pop out here. And I'm just going to do that a few more times. I'm just going to go right to the edge here. I'm going to make this one a little bit longer down here. Now, once I'm done with that, then I need to get another color. And I think I'll go with green this time. And I'm going to do the same thing right between each fishbowl. So I'm just going to make a little bit of a line right between here. And I'm going to do this all the way until I get to the bottom, and I just won't go all the way to the bottom here. Or you can just put a little bit of a wavy line right across here, a little bit of room, just to make it different from the top. Now, once you're done with that, you want to take some crayons, and you want to color in nice and lightly in between all of these spaces. And I'm going to use the same colors that I use. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a purple and a green just to kind of fill this in. And when you color this, you just want to color nice and light, just so that we can have our fishbowl be our main image. We want everyone just to see that. We don't want them to be focused on the background. We want them to be focused on the fishbowl. So I'm just going to color this nice and light back here in a pattern. And there you go, once you're done coloring, you have a nice little fishbowl handprint on here. And sometimes something I like to do is just take a black marker and just kind of trace around here just to make it a little bit bigger. And just that way it kind of pops out a little bit more and just has a little bit of a nicer effect to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trace this all the way around here. You don't have to do this, but just kind of gives it a nice little look. And there you go, there it is. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.